Hey y'all, how's it going? This is Farm Sim Dad, and I just wanted to do a quick little video here. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Give you a little tour of my my. I think I'm at 2,000 cow now dairy farm. Yeah, I just I don't know. I got a couple dairy farmers I follow on YouTube in real life, and it seemed like a pretty cool job to have. So I wanted to try it out and and farming sim. So I'll give you guys a tour here, and um, and let me know what you think in the comments, and if you want to see more, I can do videos of the progress and what we got going on. So, I did not, as you can probably tell from the uh, thumbnail, it's a pretty big investment going on here. So, I did not build this from scratch. I started with uh, $5 million. No, I'm sorry. I started with $3 million. So, I have built some from scratch because there's a, a lot more than that invested in this thing. I've been working on it. I don't know how many years of game time, but a few months now. So, um, ah, sorry, auto save. That'll be quick. It's a local save. So I have ended up purchasing pretty much the whole um, eastern half of this map. We got all these fields up here, all these fields, these fields, these fields, and then this is the actual dairy farm where I have the cow pastures and the equipment stored here at the home. Uh, so let's see, I guess I can just tell you what I got going on. So up here, these are wheat fields for, um, grain and mainly for straw. I, I sell all the grains, cows, like, uh, TMR the most. These are my grass fields. Um, I use these for hay and these for silage. Got a little soybean field out there. Actually, it might be time to harvest that. Oh, no, I already harvested it. Never mind. Um, and then some more wheat fields down here at the bottom. I had them all down here, but then didn't really have anything to plant up here at that um, time of the season. So I just tossed some wheat up here. We can sell whatever straw we don't use. So, But I think, and I have a few corn fields here. Um, but I think next season I'm going to expand the corn down to here because we get a ton of silage chaff silage from the corn so um i'll probably change these over to keep these corn make that one corn and these down here corn and maybe do a cash crop here probably some soybeans over here make a little extra money uh but all the crops besides the soybeans the couple of grain crops i do harvest some of the corn for grain but most of all these crops go to the cows uh, mainly silage for the tmr uh, straw for the TMR and the bedding. And yeah, I do harvest some of the corn to sell, but pretty much everything I grow goes to, to the cows, except for what's going to be here. It's going to be the soybeans for some cash crops. And I'll probably expand out here. There's a few more fields I can buy to do cash crops, but um, we'll just do like a, just do like a flyover and I'll show you guys around Turn the hood off so we can see everything. So that's the home. Um, I'll show you in the barns later. So we got four barns there. Uh, that smaller one there is the shop. Um, these are the, the grain silos for the corn, soybeans, wheat. Uh, there's my milk. Those are milk silos there where we store the milk till we get a good price to sell. I have three fermenting silos for the corn chaff and grass silage. I have a hay loft and a straw loft. These are all mods. I think these hold a million liters each, as are the same for the the uh, fermenting silos there. This is my TMR mixer here. Um, it holds a ton of stuff. Um, so you can see the the totals there. Um, I have the the fermenting silos on distribute, so this field stays full. And then I have to provide the mineral feed, which I have a silo for there beside it. And straw and hay from the grass. And then it outputs the food for the cattle. Um, I'll show you the... I have 10 pastures with 200 cows each. These, um, my cow pasture mods will hold 490 cows, I believe. But I'm still doing some testing, as you can see on this here, number one, they have 31,000 liters of water. The cow pasture only holds 25,000. 
But for some reason, 25,000 is not enough for 490 cows. So one game time day, this is empty, or I guess month. So I guess I could fix it by adding more days per month, but I like one month days. So if you have this slap full and you fast forward a month, it's empty and the productivity stays at zero. So I keep it at 200 and then every time they reproduce, I just sell the calves for extra income. So I keep it at 200 per pasture, so 2,000 cows. Milking cows. Um, I sell all the manure and all the slurry and sell the milk, obviously. I don't have a dairy production point yet. I'm just straight uh, dairy farm, cow, uh, milk farm. For now, I may build some dairy production points in the future. They just don't hold that much. Maybe I can find a mod out there that'll hold some more milk, but 2,000 cows produce a crazy amount of milk, so it's just easier for me to sell it. So, and then I have some trucks out here. These are not, uh, I don't play this real life. I just, this is just for fun for me, so all of these are mods. Those, um, those tankers over there, I think they're a million liters each. Uh, that dump truck's 2 million liters. The green trailer in the middle are a um, quarter million <coughs> for my silage. I'll show you a cool way I do the silage. And then I have some um, crop, some harvesting stuff. I got the big bud pulling the mother bin there. That mother bin hold a quarter million liters, I think. Which, that's not a mod. That's base game. All of this equipment here is, well, the, the cedar's not base game, but... That mother bin is base game, and it's the biggest um, grain storage on the base game. It'll hold uh, 250,000, I think, or maybe 200,000, but it's a pretty good bit. So it's just fun to play with. It's cool, and I love that Big Bud stuff. Oh, Welker Farm. Uh, shout out right there. Um, but, yeah, and then here are the cow pastures. So there's 10 um, just kind of spread out here. Uh, made plenty of room to get the trucks in. I just fill up the... The, the lizard one there with the cover on it. It's an underbelly. Uh, so you don't have to tip it because you can't tip a big trailer in those um, in those barns. So that underbelly there. And I also found out this uh, TLX dump truck here will um, it'll dump fast enough to where you don't have to raise it all the way so it goes through the roof. And I don't think it has a collision on it anyway. So that 2 million liter dump truck right there will pretty much Oh, excuse me, pretty much fill up all the barns with one go, so that's nice. So yeah, I just pull the dump truck over to the the uh, feed mixer here, load it up, and then go out. And I have the tanker there to do the water, because these cow pastures do require water. But yeah, so just come down through here, it's time about time to sell off the manure. But yeah, so there are the cow pastures. Um, let's see, let's show you the, the, uh, crops I got going. It's actually harvest time for the grass. I got this guy going on the grass here. This is a sweet setup for silage. So this trailer will do 250,000 liters, I think. And you just get the harvester going. I use the real speed limit mod, so this thing flies down through here. Harvesting is running. It's got a guy in it because I have an AI doing the harvesting right now. I need to empty him out. Uh, but yeah, he's working on these these fields here, and over here, the, the hay we got going on. So mowers running, got an AI running on that mower there, cutting the grass on these fields, and these are so close together they kind of run together as one. So the AI just goes across the lines and keeps it all going. I um, <clears throat> I cut a headling. Um, Headland row around it just to uh, make it a little bit easier for him. Uh, the tedder should be around here somewhere running. There he is. Looks like he might be stuck. I have to fire him back up. And then I got the rower going over here. See the rows coming into view there. But yeah, that's cool. Um, pretty cool. I enjoy it. It's fun. It's big. It's not realistic at all, really. But... It's fun. I have fun time doing it, and um, 
yeah, I thought you guys might like to see it. So, um, let's see, what else can I show you? That's about it. The rest are just fields. That's soybean field I harvested. The rest are just grass. Got to harvest all this grass. Um, actually, those might be the wheat fields that are growing. I think this is the only grass. And then up here by the farm, got to harvest that grass too. Yeah, that grass is ready. So, yeah, just a fun, uh, fun little map. Oh. Oversized dairy farm we got going. I'll hop in here and leave this guy. Go empty this stuff out into the fermenter, fermenting silo, and get him going again. But yeah, uh, what else did I want to show you? Oh, I want to show you the equipment in the barns. That's pretty cool. Got some big time stuff over there, so it's fun to play with all this big, super expensive equipment that I don't get to play with and play in a halfway realistic game so this is just my my play play farm away from the uh the mining series and the, the new farmer series i think two's pretty here but yeah, while that's dumping we'll go over here and check out the barns uh so this one we got the corn harvester well is it gonna let me in here slow down a little bit so there's a harvester, got the corn header on it, got a sprayer, spreader, uh, I think it's a spade cultivator maybe, this RO there. This barn is empty, this is where I store the, the other harvester, um, the other forage harvester. There's another disc RO. These all came, this equipment came on the map, I started the map on easy farmer mode so I got the the barns in the house and this equipment included uh there's a cedar i use the other uh black hawk or some sort of hawk cedar over there the big time uh there's a forage wagon don't really use that now that i got the um forage harvester set up i might use this to pick up the straw from the, the wheat but i'll probably end up I don't know if the forage harvester pick up the straw swaths or not with those big trailers, but and then this is the grain harvester. He is stuck in there at the moment. I think I might have to reset him with the the big John Deere header on it. But yeah, so pretty fun. I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, oh yeah, I didn't finish explaining my water experiment. So here on number one, I put these water tanks that are used for the greenhouse, but I can't get can't get them to automatically go in the cow pasture. I'm still running a test, but every time it gets down to 25,000 liters, it just stops because there's five of those. They're 5,000 liters each, so it just stops. It won't pull it out of those um, extra tanks there, so I'm just trying a few things, trying to get those to work so I could have some more cows, but 2,000 is plenty, so we'll just call it the, the 2,000 cow dairy farm for now, so... But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Um, if you if you like this kind of thing and you want to see some more, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to. Probably won't do a whole series, but give you a weekly, bi-weekly update on what we got going on here. Um, do some, some milk collections, some manure sales. Uh, we have a ton of corn in here to to sell in January, so I don't know. It's just fun to play around on. It is for me anyway. Um, a half a million liters of milk, plenty of hay and straw. So. so yeah, if you guys want to see some more of this, just let me know. I'll be happy to make some videos on it. But I mainly just wanted to show you guys what I do in my free time when I'm not making uh, mining or uh, beginner farm videos. So if um if you enjoy uh, enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you're enjoying the the channel, the content, uh, there should be a subscribe button on your screen right now. Just give it a click and join the channel. And uh, as always, please leave any comments, questions, concerns in the comments, and I'll answer them as best I can. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're having a great day, and uh, happy farming. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.